Welcome to another No Sign Up, No CC guide to the Snipers of Into the Radius as a version 2.0. Today I'll be showcasing the stats, tests, and tricks I've learnt in my roughly 10 hours of sniper only gameplay. As per usual, this video will be broken into three parts a sniper ammo guide, general sniper tips, followed by the deep dive and tier list of all the snipers. Now, currently, the Radius only has three snipers across two different calibers. In terms of 7.62x51, FMJ is the clear choice here. I don't even have to say anything else because the numbers should just speak for themselves. 7.62x54R on the other hand has a little dilemma. CHP is a surplus round which leaves us with just AP and FMJ. FMJ has a 70% penetration chance whereas AP has a 90% at the cost of doing 20% less damage. What's crazy is that even after the 20% damage decrease, both the Mosin and Tiger can still two shot kill every enemy in the game, which renders FMJ completely useless. <laughs> I also did the usual binomial probability math to show that AP kinda just rolls FMJ. So to recap, use FMJ for 762 by 51 and use AP for 762 by 54 r As for sniping tips, I have a lot, so I'm just gonna try and speed run this part. Firstly and most importantly, shout out to this lad for creating the mod linked in the top of the description that boosts your render distance. It changes the fog to a distance I believe should be the norm and it has a very straightforward installation. Just click the link, click files, download the 200% view distance mod and then drop it into this folder. That's it. Just look at the fucking difference. If the game runs poorly, just go back to the folder and delete the file. There's many view distance options available but I recommend sticking with the 200% one as any higher and it kind of just ruins the vibe of the game. Now that you can see the enemy, Let's talk scopes. Good options include the 4x scope for rail B mounts, PU scope for the Mosin, and PSO for the Tiger. However, if you want the best, best of the best, best for its sheer value, value, I'd recommend subscribing to the channel, because it's free, and only 9% of you guys are. Anyway, I would actually recommend using the big boy scope. This thing is my go-to because you can just dial the zoom on the fly and it makes it lethal at all ranges. Now in terms of weight, if you make all the snipers suppressed and load them with their magazines, they all weigh within a kill of each other, so I believe that weight differences here are negligible. Rapid fire tip time, ready? 3, 2, 1. Make sure you rack the bolt way more than you need to, as sometimes it doesn't register the ejection, so when you try to shoot next, you'll hear a little click. Ah, oh, of course. Pressing the safety on the Mose and the DVL does make a little sound, but it doesn't do anything other than cure your ADHD while you're walking around the wasteland. And finally, enabling virtual stock is a must. Just enable it in the settings and enjoy having a stable shot. Now, I originally had a whole part on how to steady your shot in the script, but then I realized that this is an into the radius guide and not a sniping guide. So here are some final quick tips for aiming. Lay down or sit down when you're aiming at stuff over 100 meters away. I don't know if you can tell, but I literally spent most of my gameplay just sitting on the floor and I loved every minute of it. Shoot with both your eyes open. It looks cool, and also because 3, if you combine it with a laser sight, it seriously helps with lining up targets at long distance. I don't know how to edit together the effect, but I tried to visualize it as best I could. Next, make sure you hold your breath when you're aiming, as well as many, many more tips. Honestly, just Google sniping tips because there's just too many to name. With that out of the way, let's begin the deep dive and tier list. Now, because there's only three snipers, let's just start by comparing each sniper stat for stat because I think you'll begin to notice a little pattern. In terms of magazines, we have two 10 round mag snipers, then the Mosin with its five round mag that is single round loaded. For accuracy, the differences don't even matter because they are the only guns in the game that have an accuracy above a 90. Now, velocity only matters if you're trying to lead a moving target, but when it comes to snipers, I advise that you wait for your target to be stationary. Finally, in terms of damage, the DVL has the highest in the game, while the Tiger and the Mosin have the second highest. But all three guns can one-shot headshot everything, so it is arguable that damage doesn't even matter in the first place. But what does all this mean in monkey terms? You have gun that is one-shot kill, you have gun that is semi-auto two-shot kill, then you have two-shot kill single round loaded bolt action McGee. Now the Mosin isn't bad. All three of the snipers are arguably some of the best guns in the game. I just personally find it annoying that I have to load each bullet individually while also having to crank a bolt and hit two shots to kill an enemy. But if you factor in the fact that it's a security level three gun, you begin to realize that nothing really comes close to the Mosin at that security level. So if you just hit security level three and you don't know what you want to buy, I'd buy a Mosin because nothing at that point in the game can one-shot headshot anything as good as the Mosin can. However, if you do have access to other security levels, I'd take the Tiger if you can't aim, and then the DVL if you can. Oh my god, I missed. <laughs> Hold up. Lastly, with 2.2 teased and just around the corner, there's no better time than now to be subscribed because I'll be doing an update video on all the changes when it drops, especially for the ammo stat changes. 
I'd like to thank you all for watching, join the Discord if you don't like pineapple and pizza, and I hope you all have a good day, night, or evening as you continue to lay down on your living room floors while gaming. See ya's.